This place will belong to me. I haven't been here since, like, the start of the game, man. Brings back memories. I've got my, uh, summoning ability ready to go. My pseudo-elven rage. I've come for you, Witch King. The plant here, or whatever it's called. Well, let's go then. Defeat the Witch King. Let's go, my boy. Oh my goodness, he got mad when I did that. Understandably so, but still. Take that, Witch King. Yeah, get him, my dudes. Hello? Oh, you summoned a lot of dudes. No, don't leave. All right, well, I got to beat his dudes. For oh, no, you're still right there. Hey. No, no, no. It is not. X. X. Can't touch this. Oh, he's really mad. Ow. Uh, oh, circle. I wasn't prepared for the circle button. No, I won't. You're going to be faceless by the time I'm done. Was it not circle again? Did I mess oh, dear. Take that. Where did my dudes go? I want my dudes back. Nope. Stay away from me. What the heck? I Okay, I didn't realize that that drew me towards him. Oh, Sildur is gone. You're right. You do need a ninth. But, like, what if I became the top dog, though? Did you ever consider that? How? When am I supposed to hit him? Nope. Oh, right now. Maybe? No? Wait. Okay, I don't understand when my time to attack is. Ow. Ow. Okay. I don't understand how I'm supposed to hit him. Okay, well, he just actually moves through my focus, so the time slowdown thing is bad. What am I supposed to hit you? Nope. Nope. Oh, there's a circle prompt there. Okay. Okay, I understand now. I have to wait specifically for the circle prompt and not mess it up by pressing X at the wrong time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, there was a... How am I supposed to tell when it's going to be a circle prompt and not an X prompt? There seems to be, like, no actual tell. I refuse to join you. I am the great Italian. Cannot stop me. There! Circle! It wasn't even a freeze thing like I thought it would be. Okay, I understand now. Now that I understand how to take him on, I, I can do it. I respectfully disagree. No. None of that. I want the plant here. I called dibs on it. Oh my goodness, all four of them? Calm down. Are you going to draw me in? That's fine. X. Hey, uh, no, I pressed X, game. I disagree. What are, you, what are you doing? Stop this. Oh, hello. I was not ready for that. Nope. 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 Nope again. Nope. There we go. Nope, he won't claim his prize, because I called dibs on it. Execute. Oh, it's so close. Oh, he got mad. No, stop doing the thing with the stuff. None of that. Okay, what are you, what are you doing? Nope, they're doing stuff again. Stop that. Okay, you tried to draw me in there. I saw that. No, stop. Nope. I like my humanity. Oh, dear, it's this. I hate this. This is, like, my least favorite as of right now. Nope. Just have to wait for the circle. He's done it. All I needed to do was understand. 
Oh, you're broke. I did the execute instead of it's fine. It worked. You cannot see inside me. Nothing of my soul remains. Then I banish you. Nina Smallhole is mine. Okay. I don't know what this means. Do I get to fight Celebrimbor and Eteriel? Is there actually a lot more game left than I realized? Ah, Celebrimbor. But also Eteriel. The stuff of legend. Is that Sauron? Looks like Sauron. You will serve the bright lord now. In the body of Elf or Man, you are unchanged, Kilabrimbo. Alright, so Sauron is the white-haired guy. Oh, I'm Celebrimbor now! I didn't- Oh my goodness! Okay, what am I supposed to do about this? What the- I don't understand! Oh my goodness. How does one reach Sauron? Oh my word, I'm getting mad. I don't understand! There we go. I assume that's what I needed to do from the start. Okay, so now that I'm playing as Celebrimbor, I assume it's just like playing as Italian when he was- Where'd you- Nope. None of that. I don't play that game. Get executed on. I don't want to tell you how to live your life, Sauron. You know, you're the Dark Lord and all that. You probably know more about how to do stuff than me in this world. But, uh, can't help but feel like your giant armor form would have done a whole lot better in this fight than your, like- human-esque elf form is doing. I could be wrong. It's just my personal opinion. Take that. And you know what? Take that again. I really don't understand why Ateriel is working with Celebrimbor, by the way. Is she like... Yeah, Power of the Bright Lord. Has she just, like, been corrupted or something? I don't get it. Also, how long has it been since Talion went and took me to Smorgold compared to this? Are these things happening, like, concurrently? Oh, hey, you're, uh... What? He's mad. Oh, yeah, he's back into mega form. See, this makes more sense to me. Someone explain to me how I fight this. Oh, I'm out of elf shot. Uh, I'll be right with you, Sauron. Oh, it's Sauron! Just a minute. I'll be right there. Just needed my elf shot. The light of will consume. Yeah, get executed on Sauron. There we go. Yeah, see, this makes a lot more sense from my perspective. Uh, what? He got mad? Are you doing- you're about to do a ranged attack on me. Who do you think you are? Yeah, get it right in the face, Al. Okay, I need to press X faster. Duly noted. What? Dude, I am, like, way more powerful as just Celebrimbor than I am with Talion. No, 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 no. None of that. Celebrimbor doesn't play that game. Oh, that hurt. Hello. I have the power of the flying garage and you can't stop me. I definitely pressed X. Okay, well, I guess I'm not pressing X, actually, in case you were curious. 
Sauron! I want to fight Elfu again. Elfu was a lot more doable. I pressed X. Like, I don't understand. Nope. None of that. Ow. Maybe I should, like, wait for an opportunity. Oh my word, he's so fast. He does not care about my, uh, whatchamacallit. My focus slowing down time. What are you doing? Nope. I pressed X! Game! Did I just need to, like, warp through him repeatedly? If I do this, will something happen? Oh. Nope. Oh, maybe I should let him slam down his hammer, and then I try and hit him. Yeah, get him, Ezreal. I'm just gonna, like, keep my distance while you do things and stuff. Yeah, let's do this for a little bit. Is this even hurting him? Doesn't seem like it. That did a little bit. Nope, you are a minion. I don't know what to do other than flying Raj and you repeatedly. Nope. That time he didn't do the big one. What are you doing? I pressed A! I don't understand! Sometimes I press X and it works. Sometimes I press X and the game is like, ah, uh, nah. No, I won't. You get to kneel. Ow. Okay, wow. He does not care about the mechanics of the game at all. He just says no. What is she doing? Oh, he's upset. Oh, you're broken. Yeah, I'm working on it. What? Oh, he's not having it. Yeah, there you go. That worked somehow. Hi. What it where? He's what the heck he's so fast! Ow. Have I mentioned how much I hate Sauron's little uh where? What? Have I mentioned how much I hate Sauron? Let me just leave it at that. Sauron, I really need you to just go down, buddy. Oh, you're broken. You know what? Do this. Just instant. Hello? That's what happens when you go against me. And by me, I mean betraying Talion, you know what I mean. Oh, uh, what? He, like, absorbed Celebrimbor? Locked in a prison of perpetual war. A flaming eye casting its shadow over mortal. Talion had retaken the city of Minas Morgul, but his war was far from over. His greatest battle would be fought against the shadow within himself and the tower to the east. To hold back the darkness. To save the world of men. Act three went by fast. Act four, the Shadow Wars. I have no idea what, like, Celebrimbor and Sauron are one and are constantly, like, fighting for control over the body they now share, I guess? I don't know. I am glad I got to fight Sauron in the end, though, because I wanted to. And I'm glad Celebrimbor lost, because that ha that's what happens when you uh, betray Talion. You suffer heavily, much like Bruce did. So now I just get to play the game as evil Talion? Yeah, mission complete. Sick. Cool. Uh, the Dark Ranger, you've defeated... Oh, hey, stalemate is victory. <laughs> okay, sure. You've defeated the Witch King and become the Lord of Minas Morgul. New skills unlocked, Raise Dead and Ring Wraith. Makes sense. 
New challenge unlocked. Minas Morgul fight pits. Complete this challenge to unlock the Undying Loyalty upgrade for the Raise of the Dead skill. New legendary gear set, the Ring Wraith gear. The Land of Shadow. Minas Morgul and the Fortresses of Mordor are yours. However, the Flaming Eye above Barad Dor is fixed upon you. And the Lord of Mordor sends more powerful orcs to lay siege. Upgrade your fortresses and increase the levels of your followers, or dominate the higher level invaders and recruit them to strengthen your army. Keep Mordor in a state of perpetual war. Only then can the free people of Middle-earth prepare for the War of the Ring. I assume the War of the Ring is what happens in the Lord of the Ring movies. That makes sense. The Shadow Wars Stage 1, Sirith on Gaul under siege. Whatever that means. Alright, well, that's why they didn't let me take back Minas Morgul. Alright. And then that counts as like a main mission. Defend the Fortress of... Okay. So I assume that the game is now just a consistent, like, you get to... Your places get sieged. You have to protect them. Oh, there's, uh... Barador. There's the eye thing. Look at it. Known as Lugburs to the Orcs, Barador is Sauron's fortress home and immense tower at the foot of Mount Doom. As a much a prison as a fortress, Sauron's enemies disappear into Barador, never to return. Okay. So wait, someone explain to me what this means. Now that Celebrimbor, someone in the comments who knows Lord of the Rings, because I don't. Now that Celebrimbor and Sauron are one, like... I mean, this one is only orange, not orange flashing blue. I would assume that Sauron, you know, being the ultimate evil or whatever of the Lord of the Rings universe, just takes control himself and is, uh, basically eliminates Celebrimbor. But hey, what do I know? I have no idea how that goes. So yeah, just, you know, a really brief rundown of what the heck all this means would be cool. But, uh, yeah. I'm not going to mess with any siege mission shenanigans. I'm not going to go do those last two Shadows of the Past. This uh, ended up actually being about three videos, so this ended about as perfectly as it possibly could have, to be honest with you. But now that we're done with uh, the last main... Let me look at the quest stuff. Yeah, 100% on everything, and I got 100% on these three that I cared about. Uh, and Nemesis missions and Siege missions, I really don't care. And then Shadows of the Past are meh. I don't like them. I don't like the last two. Well, actually, I don't think I ever tried the Tricky, but I don't like the Champion, so I don't care. But I would say we're done now. Game over. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry it took me so long to get this game done. It has some issues. It's definitely not my favorite game. I'm gonna kill this one last, uh, whatchamacallit, dude. Goodbye. <laughs> Kill this one last gym dude for old time sakes. It was just money, of course. Honestly, that's the only thing that could have ended the game better than that would have been uh, if it had been a life gym. But yeah, overall, Shadow War is a pretty good game. I like it. The domination thing they got going on is really cool. You know, the fighting your enemies and taking control of them and making them your own warriors and stuff. That's really sick. That's a really cool thing. I'm surprised that more people or more games haven't... Uh, implemented stuff like that, and I kind of wish more games would, because it's pretty cool. But, uh, it's a fun game. It's got some major issues. The ending is pretty sick. I like the way this turned out with us turning into Evil Talion, basically, and all that shenanigans happening. But, uh, I still really don't understand why Ateriel put on the ring. It doesn't, because I could have sworn that, like, every time we saw her, she was like, rings are evil, don't use rings. Italian, you should abandon the ring. And then Celebrimbor would always be like, don't abandon the ring, Talion, use the ring. And then Talion would be like, I need the ring. And so he would keep it. I thought that that's how it went. But at the end, she was just like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna nab that for myself. So, uh, whatever. Yeah, overall, pretty good game. It has some major issues with, like, enemy targeting. And, uh, th the game can get really, really annoying. At least it was for me. Whenever enemies adapt enough, because when you're, like, fighting a shield enemy and he adapts to vaulting, it's, like, insanely, insanely annoying to fight him. Because if you can't vault over one of the shield dudes... And there are other enemy types that I have issues with as well, but the one I can think of mainly is the shield dude, because I think I ran into shield dude trouble the most. Especially because there was a shield dude who was in charge of a fortress, I remember, that made me want to die. But, uh, if a shield dude adapts to vaulting, his shield blocks your ice attack, so you can't just freeze him and hit him. And if you try and roll behind him, nine, nine times out of ten, one of two things is going to happen. He's going to turn to you and you're still blocking with his shield. You're not going to be able to hit him. Or he's going to, uh, you're going to accidentally vault over him because the game doesn't understand that you're trying to just go just to the side of him. It thinks you're trying to vault him and then he'll vault break you. Uh, so you have to rely entirely on arrows at that point. 
and it's not a lot of fun relying on arrows. And then if they're arrow-proof, then you just give up and quit the game, I guess, from that point on. Let's see, what are you idiots doing up here? What do you think is going to happen here? Goodbye to you. And goodbye to you. Minus more gold belongs to me. Why would you idiots even be here? But, uh, the game was pretty fun overall. It can be incredibly frustrating at points, and it has a couple of issues where I think that it would just, like, the game does not understand how to handle certain scenarios, right? Especially, like, in this session, like, a video, it would have been a video two ago, where I'm surrounded by a lot of my own dudes, and there are only, like, two or three enemies. The game constantly assumes I'm trying to jump over and freeze my own men, or attack my own men, which is asinine. I can understand in some scenarios you would want to hit your own dudes to, like, charge up your might or heal off of them by killing them or something, but a lot of times that's not going to be the case, and it's just the game being like, mm, there's really no one else nearby enough to attack, so you're just going to hit your own guys for no reason. And it's pretty irritating, but overall the game is pretty good. It's got some issues here and there that pile up and happen too often that make me dislike it. I, I'd give it like a 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10. That sounds fair. That's, you know... I don't subscribe to the idea that some people think, like, a game has to be, like, a 9 or a 10 out of 10. Otherwise, it's not a good game. It's not worth getting. Nah, man. Nah. That's not the case. Like, as long as a game... If a game is 5 out of 10, that means it's decent. It's worth looking into. If a game is over 5 out of 10, that means it's probably pretty good. And it's definitely worth at least looking into. And then if it's a 9 or a 10, it's like, you should buy and play this game no matter what. Because it's really good. Like, flat out. But, uh... I'm seeing these dudes walking up here. What do you think is going to happen here, man? Other than your death. But, uh... When a game is under a score of 5 out of 10, that's when you got to be like, this game is bad, and I shouldn't even bother looking at it. Did I miss you? Or did you just live that hit? That was weird. But anyways... Yeah. I think that's about all I want to say. Goodbye. So, I'm not going to be doing anything else, by the way. This this is the end of the playthrough. Like I said, we're done now. Thank you all for watching so much. I hope you enjoyed. I, again, I'm sorry that this game was delayed for like six months or whatever because I had other games going on. But I told you I'd finish it, and I did. I finished the main story. I always, except for a few very niche cases where I get really, really sick of a game. I almost always, at least, finish the main stories of games. I'm not going to be doing any post-game stuff. I'm not going to be doing any of the DLC. I know that there's some kind of a Terial and a Baranor DLC. But uh, I've had my fill of this game. Believe you me. But it is, it is a pretty good game. I'm sure if you like The Lord of the Rings, it's even better. So, I don't know. I think me giving it like a 7 or a 6, I don't really, I'm kind of waffling between 6 and 7. Because I get really annoyed at this game sometimes. But when I'm enjoying this game, it is a lot of fun. It's just that there are too many times where I'm not enjoying the game. So, I have to probably, you know what, I'll meet myself in the middle. 6.5 out of 10. There you go. That's my official rating for this game. 6.5 out of 10. I wanted to get one last execution there, but I accidentally killed him. Whatever. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Now that this game is over, I'm going to get a Digimon playthrough ready to go, like I promised I would, and that'll start soon. So those of you who like Digimon and also watch this series, you'll get to see some more Digimon very soon. But uh, it's going to take me a bit to set that up, so it's going to be some Kingdom Hearts recoded before then. But yeah, thank you all again, and I will see you in future playthroughs, hopefully. Until that time, farewell.